What's up everybody, welcome to SA Boxing Talking here with Hayden Jones and we are here to talk about Alexander Usyk versus Witherspoon, Chaz Witherspoon that is uh, the heavyweight, 38 wins, 3 losses, uh, obviously someone had to be fighting Usyk, Usyk only weighing in at 97 kilograms into this fight so a very very small heavyweight but that's allowing him to be nimble you know, uh, I noticed in the fight that you know when he was fighting Witherspoon very like a natural heavyweight, not well, he's the same sort of height as Uzik, but just like very stocky, had a bit of extra poundage on. But that also, you know, 38 wins, 3 losses. I mean, he can box. So Uzik getting in there with a much heavier guy, kind of showing his skill set off and doing his his utmost to kind of get in and out and working the body really nicely against Witherspoon. I think that, you know, the fight against, uh, you know, Takam would have also been a good fight as well for, for Uzik. But, you know, he'll move on to higher and higher things. I think that him being lighter and more agile actually works to his advantage. I mean, he's not a small 97, you know, he's still quite a stocky guy himself. So I think that it has the whole like Tyson thing apart from the, you know, obviously Tyson had that natural power and that natural aggression, but I'm talking about the height factor, the height factor that he's able to get in, able to get out. Tyson also a very light sort of heavyweight, even during his era. So the fact that he was able to, you know, move in, get in, get in and get out. I think the speed killed with a spoon at the end of the day. Landing so, so nicely, so nicely to the body uh, every every time in out in out. I think Witherspoon caught him with a few uh, shots when he got on the inside. I think that that's when he is opening up when Usyk hit the combinations. That's when Witherspoon would, would would find it lucky enough to land that right hand. Apart from that, kind of ineffective, but it's very hard to be effective against Alexander Usyk because of just the technical uh, background that he has and just just the way he moves and stuff. So this takes him on to yet another win: 17 wins, 13 wins by way of the short routes, by way of stoppage, and uh, yeah, no shame in his heavyweight debut. In fact, I think this was the best way to introduce Uzek. Give him a sort of a B-level heavyweight. Let's see how he does against Witherspoon and go. I know Witherspoon is a late replacement, but I don't think Witherspoon would be much better than what he did represent on the day. I think that that would have been his level and that would have been Uzek's level. That's not to say that Witherspoon cannot go on and do something, but like, I'm just saying Uzek is just probably that much better, if that makes sense in terms of levels. And Usyk now, after this, can look towards maybe fighting, I don't know, like another... I, like, I wouldn't say rush Usyk into fighting what he said, like Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, or Andy Ruiz Jr., depending on who wins that fight. Um, I don't think rushing into that fight necessarily means uh, anything good for Usyk. Like, I think let him grow as a heavyweight. Let him, let him feel comfortable. Let him test out and feel sort of the power that, that is behind a heavyweight. So I'm trying to think, maybe put him in, in against a Derek Chisora, maybe put him in against, um, not Dillian White, I think Dillian White's a little bit too good right now. Maybe put him in, I'm not to say that Usyk can't beat Dillian White, I'm not saying that, I'm just saying like let him build into the heavyweights division. Put him in, you know, against uh, uh, Otto Wallen, for example, you can put him in against Otto Wallen, uh, you can put him in... Uh, there's so many heavyweights. I'm trying to think now. The heavyweight division is not the most special division in the world, but you know, uh, even like Luis Ortiz would be too strong. You know, like I'm trying to think of B-level heavyweights. They're not really. There's a, there's there's so many heavyweights out there, but just the quality is not not quite there. But you know, I'm saying let's build him slowly, even though he is a the cruiserweight unified former cru cruiserweight unified champion of the world. Uh, but still, heavyweight's a different kettle of fish. I think give him two or three, and then start moving him up to the Dillian Whites, Luis Ortiz, and then fourth, Deontay Wilder. Make it 2021, Deontay Wilder. Um, the one between Ruiz, Joshua, or for, you know, whatever happens there. And Tyson Fury, just to cap things off, because, you know, Tyson's still the lineal heavyweight champion of the world. And this is also all dependent on, the, on, on, on Wilder versus Fury. You know, who wins that fight? Obviously, the highly controversial first fight between the two, but yeah, again. It's all, it all comes down to who wins uh, those fights and it plays out differently. But I think 2021 is the year that uh, Usyk should be looking seriously at the, at the world heavyweight title, so to speak. Guys, have your comments, have your say, like and subscribe, do the things. And I will see you very, very soon. Aight, cheers.